What we're going to do now is we're going to move this cube so that it's uh, in line with this grid to represent float height. I'm going to do that using the move tool. As you can see, Maya's got many tools um, that are on screen at once, but the, the three that we're interested in at the moment, well, four, this one here is just the, the selection tool. Uh, and then you've got this chappy here, which is the move tool. Then there's a the rotate tool and the scale tool. And right now we want the move tool. So I'm going to click on that little bad boy. And then you can see this manipulator appears. And that shows you, you can click on these manipulators and then drag to move the cube around. So if I was to drag on this yellow, this green, sorry, arrow, that will only move it up and down because I've just clicked on that arrow. If I do the same with the red one, it's only going to move it on the x-axis. And if I move it with this one, it's only moving it on the z-axis. And to know which axis you are moving it on, let me just um, do that. You can see that you've got this in the bottom corner, which shows you where your axes are. So I know that that one there represents up and down on the y-axis. So you can do that. What you can also do is grab this manipulator in the middle, um, and that will allow you to move on all three axes at once, and it'll just go all over the place. That actually, in your perspective view, your 3D view, is really a good idea, because you've got no control over the depth. What is better is you've got these little squares that have been added, I think, in Maya 2016. Which, so if I click on this red one, which red usually um, corresponds to X, what it actually does is keeps it still on the X axis and moves it on the other two. So if I click on that, it'll move that way and it'll move up and down, but it's not moving on the X axis. And the same goes for here, it'll only move those two directions, and this one here won't move up no matter what I do. It'll move into the distance, it'll move sideways, but it won't move up. So they're pretty useful. So what I want you to do is try and um, move this cube up as cl close as you can get it so that the bottom of the cube is in line with the grid. And you might want to just rotate your view a little bit to help you with this and maybe zoom out or in. So I'm just going to move that up. I'm just going to try my bestest to get that in line with the grid. And that's not bad. That's pretty close. In fact, that's very close. I'm pleased with that.